In a household, the family always deals with questions on budget and spending. Questions like, what do we need? How do we earn the money? How much do we already have? What do we spend it on? When and where do we buy the things we need? Were we able to buy everything we needed last month? Did we spend our money wisely last year? These questions seem all too common, but not asking and not dealing with these simple questions can lead to very dire consequences. However, keeping all these simple questions in check, the family's money can be efficiently allocated to meet all the family members' needs. Think of your government like a household, only bigger. It has to go through the same process in managing its family members' resources. Every citizen is a family member. Every citizen's need is a concern of the whole country. This process is called the Public Finance Management, or PFM. In a family, the parents work, and their combined income constitute the whole household's asset. The government, on the other hand, gets its money from various sources, including income, business and other taxes, loans and aid from donors, and multilateral agencies. Like a mother looking after her beloved children, the three main goals of public finance management are efficient allocation of resources, distribution of income, and macroeconomic stabilization. Because resources available to government are limited, the state must be able to prioritize when and where these limited resources should go. The act of spending results in the transfer of resources from one sector to another. Thus, distribution of resources should be distributed to different income levels and sectors. Sound management of resources should be a means to overall fiscal discipline that can sustain growth with proper safeguards from economic crisis. So why should you be concerned with PFM? Remember your country's piggy bank? Part of it is from your taxes. That means your country is managing part of your wealth. And as a citizen, you are the ultimate beneficiary of public finance management. Your needs should come first. Planning should have you in mind, and services should help increase your quality of life. Managing the finances of a single household requires participation of every member of the family, not just the parents. Likewise, managing an entire country's resources requires the efforts of a lot more actors, not just the government. In a household, the financial questions do not end. Once the family analyzed what happened with their resources the previous month or year, new needs arise and new questions follow. In a country, this is called the public finance management cycle. The planning stage involves the identification of needs, priorities, strategies, policies, and programs. Budgeting entails the identification and allocation of the country's resources. This involves securing money for priority programs across agencies and sectors. Managing expenditure is the implementation of the budget and is carried out through the fiscal year. This also includes the procurement of goods and services. Performance assessment entails evaluating government spending in relation to priorities and goals set during the planning phase. This stage answers questions of accountability. Like the members of a family working together to maintain the family's resources, you and other citizens have roles to play in the various phases of the PFM cycle. In many instances, the participation of citizens lead to better identification of needs and prioritization of programs. As citizens, monitoring how the government allocates its money allows you to understand and give feedback on which needs are not being sufficiently met. Participatory expenditure tracking involves citizens looking at the implementation of government programs and delivery of services. Procurement monitoring, on the other hand, empowers citizen monitors to participate in the bidding and awarding of contracts. Citizen scorecards and participatory audit are two mechanisms that citizens can use to hold government accountable. So, 
what is the significance of this cycle. In order to ensure social accountability, the link from one stage of the PFM cycle to the next must be sustained. The PFM cycle is not the sole territory of few people. It should be a partnership between citizens and their government. As direct stakeholders of this process, you can help ensure that everyone benefits from every step of the public finance management cycle.